How to use guitars in Logic Pro X. I'll cover everything you'll need to know, what you need to get started to record guitars, the different ways that you can record guitars, and then how to make them sound good, how to use um, presets, plugins, and different effects that Logic offers to make those guitars really shine. There are only three different ways to use guitars in Logic Pro X, and that is to actually use MIDI notes and draw the MIDI notes into your Logic Pro X session. And the other two more popular ways are to actually use an acoustic or electric guitar with your audio interface. Here are how to use guitars in Logic without having a guitar, just using MIDI. Let's get that out of the way quickly. I would go to track, um, add new software instrument track. And right here it pulls up uh, default software instrument, classic electric piano. And then I can go over here, I can open up my library and I can just search for guitars. These are different guitar presets that I can load in. This is a British comp, let's just use this classic clean guitar. So I have my MIDI keyboard right here. I'm gonna turn the volume so you can hear that. And now I can play the guitar using my MIDI keyboard. So if you know how to play some chords on the piano, you can play like a G chord, maybe an A minor. Uh, you can go down octaves. So that's the sound of a guitar, but you'll never really get the feeling of strumming for a guitar using MIDI. The other way to quickly do it with MIDI, if you don't know how to play piano at all and you wanna draw the notes in, we'll um, go to our pencil tool here and we'll make a window. Sorry, I made it too small. Here we go, we'll open this window up. And let's say on the chorus here, we want a guitar part. So let's double click this to open our editor, close this library to make some more space. And then we can go to our pencil tool and draw um, some guitar notes in. And that's how you would go about it. And then we have three different plucking guitar notes. We can also make these 16th notes and really get some rhythm in here. So and so forth. The, fa the fast way to do this, by the way, we would be going to the paintbrush tool and then drawing in MIDI notes if by 16th here. So we can kind of erase this. If we want that guitar, instead of hi-hats, we want plucking guitar to give rhythm, we would just do this with our paintbrush. Let's move on to the second way now, which is using an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar with your audio interface. There are two ways to record the guitar. Normally, if you're recording an acoustic guitar, you would do it through a microphone, like a condenser microphone or like two uh, ribbon stereo microphones. When you're recording an electric guitar, normally you would do it directly into the interface because when you play the electric guitar without anything, it doesn't have any volume. You need It needs to be plugged in, obviously. First, let's get our Logic Session set up to record the guitar through this microphone. So what we would do is go up and add a new audio track. And I'm just gonna put this audio track here and call it Acoustic Guitar. I'm going to make a little acoustic guitar image there. Here it's already armed and ready to record under, uh, right at the chorus here. And what I'll need to do to set this up is make sure my um, audio interface is recognized with Logic Pro X. So I'll go to the top here, Preferences Audio, and I'll make sure that my input device is my audio interface, so it's the Apogee One. And then your output device, most of the time will be your headphones. So whether your headphones are plugged directly into your interface or maybe they're plugged in with a built-in output right to your, your computer. Step two is making sure we have the right inputs on our track level. So we have our acoustic guitar track here and over in the inspector window, we can see what input we have checked. And right now it's on input one. We only have two inputs available to us because that's all the inputs I have available on my audio interface. If you have many channels on your audio interface, you'll have more inputs available here. If you only have one channel, then you'll only have one channel here, and that probably is more simple that way. But for example, my microphone is plugged into the input one on my audio interface. Therefore, I wanna make sure that this track has input one. If this track had input two, 
the sound going into the microphone won't be recognized on this track because the inputs aren't the same. And I'm now ready to record. Make sure this is armed and I can start recording right away. Rule of thumb is get in a comfortable position and sit about, um, have the microphone be 12 inches away from the 12th fret. So I'll kind of show you what I mean. Here's my acoustic guitar here and I'm going to be, the sound's going to be captured right into the microphone. Obviously I wouldn't kind of sit in this awkward position, but get comfortable and then have the mic, the condenser microphone 12 inches away from that 12th fret with the two dots on top. If you're having sound come out of your studio monitors while you press play, make sure that's going into your headphones. So you're gonna to wanna to put your headphones on, one hand. Now have your sound routed to your headphones, whether that output is going through your interface or your computer. So you'll be able to hear the sound in your ears while you're playing the guitar because you don't want the sound to be going through your monitors, your speakers, and then being collected by the microphone. So you don't want any sound to go into the microphone other than the guitar. The next way on how to use guitar in Logic Pro X would be going directly into your audio interface with your, your guitar. So let's go and add a new track, new audio track. This one will be my electric guitar. And I can put it right below my acoustic and have a nice Telecaster. So you would go to your guitar, whether it's an acoustic or electric, plug in your guitar with patch cord. So I have a patch cord coming out of my guitar and that's plugged directly into my audio interface, which is input two. So I would go to my track here and go over to the input section and go input to record right away and start making some music with your guitar. The great thing about having an interface with two inputs is that you can do multi-track recording, as in you can record your voice and the guitar at the same time um, with having two tracks go on. For example, we have these two tracks here. I'm gonna delete that. We have an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar. Let's just say, kind of getting off tangent here, but this is an, kind of an important topic if you wanna do guitar and voice at the same time. Let's just say this was a voice track and let's make that a voice. And this is our guitar track. If we wanna record these tracks at the same time, all you need to do is press R on that track and now we can record those tracks at the same time. All we have to do is press R and you can see two red lines are going to be going in. We're recording on both those tracks. That's how you do multi-track recording if you wanna use your guitar and your microphone to maybe even capture the room uh, noise of the guitar or something else. Third section of the video, how do we make our guitars sound good? I have a guitar track here that I'm gonna drag up and um, use these as my example. Here's what these sound like completely raw. <laughs> Kind of a bit dull, right? To get started, use the Logic presets. So those are on the library. If we go to this folder, open our library, and we look at the presets of a guitar. So we have an acoustic guitar here, but we also have an electric guitar and bass section. So we can click, let's rename this to guitar. My acoustic guitar again. Going back and forth a lot. I got really into changing these icons lately. Okay, let's um, go to my acoustic guitar library and we can just choose any of these presets and they're gonna change the effects. Before there was, no, there was no effects here. I didn't have any of this. So I can reset the channel strip and I'll show you what I mean. There's nothing here. There was just a raw audio channel. And then we can go to our acoustic guitar and load up all these presets that give us different EQs, compression, delay, already things made for us. And sometimes if you're just beginning, this is a great place to start because then you can, maybe you get something you like right away. If not, you can learn what Logic is doing. So take that as learning and then tweak if you want something better. So this is what a natural stereo guitar would sound like. It's definitely boosted it. I don't like it that much. I'm gonna go for the electric guitar section. Let's go for a crunch guitar. You can see, look at all this, look at all the presets for crunch guitar. Let's just start at the top and go through them. Drastically changed it, right? We can keep going down. 
you don't want to use any of the presets, here's how we might go about um, adding plugins to our guitar to make it sound better. What I'm gonna do to get back to the beginning here is I'm gonna reset the channel strip. And Logic has this cool amp um, kind of plugin, it was, and we can actually send this audio channel to this kind of, these kind of fake amps. So let's start by actually pairing our guitar with an amp. And how we would do that is go to the audio effects section and then go down to amps and pedals. So we have amp designer, bass amp designer, and a pedal board. We'll get to pedal board in a second. Let's first start with an amp. And here is basically like an amp. So you can plug your guitar into all of these amps. Again, there's all of these presets available. So like I was mentioning, start with the presets. And these are coming from what we were using. But now you get to dial in a bit and change the um, dials on the amp. Let's start with clean, um, old brown. So that sounds like this. So here's the actual amp and here's the placement of the microphone. We can change the placement of the microphone. We can change the microphone that is being, you know, connected to or placed right in front of the amp. So let's say, oh, we've recorded with the Dynamic 609 before and we really like that sound and it's like kind of on the right side. Once you find an amp you like, so let's say we're really sold, we were actually like the Dynamic 609 in the bottom right, and we want a bit more presence, and yeah, you tweaked it, you like this amp, just close it down, you can see you'll have the amp plugin available in the inspector window for you to always go back and tweak things if you want. Now we'll start adding more effects. Um, we can add compression, we can add delay, we can add reverb. So. Typically you would go and add some compression and you would bring up a compressor. And again, use the presets. If you're not familiar with this stuff, there are presets for guitars. And let's say we're kind of want a preset crunch guitar. Kind of a rule of thumb is you kind of want to Crunch, it, it really depends on what you're looking for. If you want a really crunchy guitar, you can bring up that attack and that threshold um, to really crunch that guitar at negative 10 um, if, you, if you're going for that kind of sound. We can add a delay if we want, a nice tape delay. That gives it some nice space. And then uh, what I want to do before the tape delay is to add an EQ. And I might just take out some frequencies that I don't like. And then we can go and add in some reverb, obviously. I'm gonna bust out a reverb. I have some reverb buses here that I like to use. I use the Sound Toys Little Plate reverb. I really like that reverb, so I'm just gonna bust out a bit of reverb. Over-exaggerate it. If you wanna go for that, go for that. You know, there's no rules to music. Kind of already roll in here. We can add um, the pedal board, like I was saying earlier. So down in amps and pedals, pedal board in Logic gives you a pedal board. If you're a guitar player, you would be very familiar with this stuff. And you can go in and set up a chain of pedals that you want to use and go crazy, you know, add a bunch of pedals. Um, you, don't ha you can add one at a time. Just click them and delete the ones you don't like. So let's say we want, uh, up on our guitar chain, let's say we want some crutch, fuzz. Let's say we want some fuzz. So here's what that would be. And just tweak the dials on your pedal. Let's say we want to add some more delay or a chorus even. And then I'm like, Maybe I'm like, oh, that crunch is way too much. Just turn it off with your, just like this is your foot. That's how to use guitars in Logic Pro X. So let me know in a comment. I do answer them all. If you have any more questions on how to use the guitars in Logic and feel free to listen to some of my music. Let me know what you think and hope to see you in the next video.